hello everyone thank you for watching so today I'm here with a new video for you guys and today's video is going to be a makeup look inspired um, by Kylie Jenner um, I am going to show you guys the picture that I was inspired by which was this one here and this one here as well those two pictures which is basically using the same um, makeup look which is actually from her new eyeshadow palette which well today that I'm making this video is not out yet but it's coming out soon so I just used my own colors and I tried to make something similar so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please don't forget to leave your thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I see you in my next video bye so let's get started um, I've already moisturized and primed my skin so I'm gonna start by applying my foundation and I'm gonna be using the MAC Studio foundation and the Mary Kay foundation um, I'm gonna be mixing these two foundations together because this one is more likely um, more my skin tone and this one is a darker shade um, beige one and that's gonna give me the tan that Kylie Jenner has so I am just going to apply that on top of my hands and I'm just going to mix them um, I'm gonna mix them using a brush like this from Sigma 3DH brush I'm gonna mix them together just in my hands and then I'm going to start to apply all over my face <laughs> one because my face looked pale in the camera but it's not that pale it's getting a little bit more and applying it in my forehead once I've applied the foundation I just like to come with a dual fiber brush um, and just kind of like give it an extra polish in the skin makes it more flawless Oops. I'm using this concealer here from Maybelline and it's almost at the end look at this I need to get a new one just to conceal under my eye just using my fingers I am going to blend all of this in going to grab a concealer just using my fingers um, I consider like more or less my skin tone and I am just going to apply all over my eye this um, acts a primer for me and is also a cover the veins which is really good powder so I'm just going to get my Maybelline powder and I'm just going to apply that all over my eyes on top of the concealer. Shadow. I am going to start by using the Kiko 169. It's like a shimmery white color just to put it on that brow bone. Like so to highlight it a little bit. So that's the color. I don't know if you can see. I don't think so. Oh well. Just to highlight my brow bone. Okay, now that I've highlighted my brow bone, I am gonna go in with a lighter um, brown color. So this one here from Kiko as well. And this is the 122 from Kiko. Just using the same fluffy brush. Why am I putting glitter all over it? I am just going to define my crease. I'm doing like an almond shape. So go out. In. using the 
122 from Kiko. I am going to move in with the darker shade, which is the 235, a darker brown. And I am just going to really use a small brush like this and I'm just going to really mark my crease. I'm just doing the almond shape. Now I am going to get this color, it's the 128 from Kiko and it's kind of like a champagne color glittery color it's really pretty and I am just going to get a shader is it shader yeah brush and I'm just going to put that on my eyelid just at the beginning right here now get my larger um, fluffy brush blending brush I am just going to blend all the colors nicely in together. So with the orange color now, I am just going to blend all the colors in together. Because I know Kylie always have a little bit of orange on her makeup. Blend all of this in with the orange. I have to say this eyeshadow is very pigmented so I can just tap the brush and take out the excess because otherwise it's gonna be really really orange <laughs> natural color concealer as well and trying to brighten up my under eye and I'm gonna blend this in with my brush that I've applied my foundation eyeshadow on the the lower lash line and to do that I'm just gonna start with the same way I did the top lighter color from Kiko the 122 and I am just going to stop in the eyeshadow just in the outer eye getting the darker brown now the 2305 which i think is actually more like burgundy when i put it in my eyes than brown but well let me just put it here bro. okay i almost forgot and that would be a huge huge mistake which is to do the eyeliner which Kylie does with an eyeshadow and that's what I'm going to do she uses a darker eyeshadow so blackish and I'm gonna use that to do the eyeliner as well so just using a pencil brush I am going to do the eyeliner just follow the shape of your eye and blend it This mascara here from L'Oreal. Not about putting on fake lashes to match what Kylie has, which is a glamorous 
um, full looking um, eyelashes but I decided I'm gonna try out something different which I'll show you guys in a minute okay so for my eyelashes as well I am going to be reviewing and showing you guys the unique um, 3d fiber lashes um, and what you're meant to do to use them you were just meant to apply one coat of your favorite um, mascara and then you're gonna st it comes in two so you have your um, trans transplanting gel and you have your mode strip natural fibers so you apply one coat of your favorite um, mascara then you come in with the transplanting gel you put it on So once you've done one coat of the transplanting gel, you can already see the difference between this one and that one. This one looks a lot more um, full. I'm going to come in with the fiber now and just apply it in. Once you've done the fiber, you go back again with the trim. Trans whatever it is gel trans what I've got the name transplanting gel and you can see how full it looks I'll just clean this in a minute then same thing on the other eye now so now for the lower lashes just going back to my normal mascara I am going to apply it on my lower lash Now it's time to set all of this in place and I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Superstay um, powder and just grabbing a brush like this. I love this brush. It's the large powder brush F30 from Sigma. I am just going to set everything in place. Using and highlighting. And to bronze today, I'm going to be using the Glam Bronze from L'Oreal. And just using an angled brush. Just blend it all in, trying to get the nice defined cheekbones. I'm going in with the Gerard Cosmetics um, Sophia highlighter and I am just going to use a brush like this to highlight it all. This highlight is the bronze um, champagne highlighter and I think it matches um, the style of highlighters um, Kylie uses. This highlight is so beautiful. I wish you guys could see it, but my camera's not give, doing it any good. I'll just swatch some of it in my hands and try to see if you guys can see. It's so beautiful. Is this one here? And now for lips, um, I am going to be using the Kylie Lip Kit um, in Exposed, which I believe is the color she's using in the picture I showed you guys. So, Exposed. Great, my lip liner is not sharpened, so I can't use it, I don't have a sharpener right now. I'll just try not to do it as much as I can here. enjoyed this video and this is the final look so a very bronzed um, eyeshadow with um, a nude lip and a little bit of highlight I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to leave your thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I see you in my next video bye